Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie, and we're going to be reading, going to be reading the, um, a little time for myself. And that's um, the book we've been reading so far right here. So what date are we reading? We're going to be reading March 23rd. Okay. So let's get to it. How are you guys doing? Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming again. All right. All right, here we go. And then we'll say the serenity prayer afterward. Okay. All right, here we go. Page 83. I returned to Al-Anon after my husband was court ordered to AA for drunk driving. So at first, I felt like I was just going through the motions. My home group has a book study meeting and like an hour before our regular meeting, but I never attended. Okay. So a couple months ago, though, I arrived early by accident and listened in. I was intrigued by the discussion on step one that they had using past paths to recovery workbook. So afterwards, they invited me to join in, in the next week's meeting. So I did. And what an experience it was. Working from the paths to recovery workbook led to many eye-opening uh, discoveries and uh, cathartic, cathartic discussions. So I'm so glad I arrived early that night. It helped perception. It uh, opened the door. It opened the door because I got there early. So to me, that's like a God intervention. Because somehow um, in the story, it reminds me of how like that um, underlying need that um, that that gets you where you're supposed to be. You you meet yourself where you're supposed to be, and um, yeah. So today's reminder: it's like a suggestion, like being early and then listening. It's like, okay, well, no one's telling me I have to do it, so. Coming early is, is good. So um, today's reminder. If I'm feeling stagnated in my recovery, I will remember that change is only as far as the next meeting or nearest uh, piece of conference approved literature, which is right here. So I will remember that change is only as far away as the next meeting or the nearest piece of conference approved literature, right? So here we go with the, the quote from Courage to Change. And that's one of the books that I've read on this channel. So um, if you're interested in, in the other books, they're in the description, okay? okay? And so the quote is, with the proper tools, Progress is just a matter of practice. Let me just show up. Keep showing up. Show up early. We show up late. Get what we need and leave the rest. And so the question of the day, and I'll post that also, is what might bring new life to my recovery today? Hmm, what will bring new life to my recovery today? I'm thinking about um, the steps and continuing uh, on the steps for me. And um, they mentioned the past to recovery workbook. I don't have the, that workbook, I don't think. Do I? Let's see. I have. I have the Paths to Recovery book, 
and that's what I use to um to do the steps on this channel. So if you are interested in what that looks like, um, put like put it in the description on my main page, past to recovery, uh, like steps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just pick out which one you want. And then you'll get to see, um, give a little flavor of that or continue if you're already doing that, okay? All right. At least that's what I'm going to do. And so with that said, let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer. Not sure what else I have to share about, about today, but... Um, Tomorrow's another day, and sometimes these are short, and sometimes they're long. <laughs> Depends on where I'm at. And um, I encourage you to to share also, and you know, like comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, All right here we go. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have courage to change the things we can and wisdom to know the difference. All right. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. See you tomorrow, God willing, okay?